who use one bus system in Sumter, Kershaw and Lee counties could be denied rides for the next two weeks. It is a big problem. That's because the Santee Watery paratransit system is dealing with a terrible driver shortage. Our Ashley Jones on that story for us tonight. So Ashley, I know you spoke with the executive director today causing a big issue for some people who really depend on this service. What's at the core of this issue for them? Well, Judy, the executive director, Lottie Jones, points to the pandemic. She says since the beginning of it, they've been seeing fewer drivers. On Tuesday, that shortage got so bad that the company had to deny rides for 22 people, some who are disabled. Well, what could I say? All I did was get off the bus and walk. 66-year-old Charles Epps is one of many denied a ride on Friday following a shortage of bus drivers at the Santee Watery Regional Transportation Authority. I got off the bus. Usually I catch another bus going south, and now it's no more bus. With his groceries in his hands, Epps had to finish his commute on foot. We've been going through this for quite some time, but it really, really hit hard this um, Tuesday. When we came in, we already know we would have been short, but we had everything planned out. Executive Director Lottie Jones is referring to the shortage of drivers. She says on Tuesday, four drivers called out. That's after she had two drivers retire in late December. Another one got sick, and she doesn't believe that driver will return. We had, because of our staff being um, of, um, like, seniors, more or less, when the pandemic hit, we had a lot of our vehicle operators that resigned during that time because they was they were fear, you know, fearful of, you know, getting the, um, the virus. Jones says they are budgeted for 19 drivers, but normally they only have 12. Right now they have five drivers for their transit system that provides rides for three different counties. And if you are interested in becoming a driver, Jones urges you to apply. Right now they're in need of both dispatchers and drivers. There are 10 driver positions open. Judy. All right, Ashley, thank you very much. Joan says that there are three people who are currently training as drivers, but again, she emphasizes that this shortage will likely last at least the next two weeks.